Pedagogy, from Greek, pedagogia, education, comma, attendance on boys. Transform, from Latin, transformare, change the shape or form of, from trans, meaning across, plus formare, meaning to form. Reform, to convert into another and better form, from re, meaning again, plus formare, to form. Pedagogy, noun, meaning education, comma, attendance on boys. Boys Town, Nebraska. The village of Boys Town was established as the headquarters of the Boys Town Organization, also known as Father Flanagan's Boys Home, founded by Father Edward J. Flanagan. It is dedicated to the care, treatment, and education of at-risk children. Pedagogy, noun, meaning education or attendance on boys. By October 15, 1777, 1777, Congress had declared bankruptcy and created a pogrom P-O-G-R-O-M, called the United States of America. A pogrom is a violent massacre or persecution of an ethnic or religious group, particularly one aimed at Jews, or in this case, boys, through the public education system. In order to offset congressional bankruptcy, the Articles of Confederation were put together. Article 12 says, All bills of credit emitted, monies borrowed, and debts contracted by or under the authority of Congress before the assembling of the United States in pursuance of the present Confederation, otherwise known as conspiracy, shall be deemed and considered a as a charge against the United States, meaning you for payments and satisfaction whereof the said United States and the public faith are hereby solemnly pledged. They have charged and pledged you to offset their bankruptcy. To do this or to maintain this practice, judges are taking oaths under 28 U.S.C. 453 to discharge congressional bankruptcy by throwing you under the bus, charging you not as what you think of as a court, but under Black's Law Dictionary, first edition, the definition of bank. Number one, a bench or seat, semicolon. The bench or tribunal occupied by the judges, semicolon. The seat of judgment, semicolon, a court. This program maintained under Acts of Commerce and Private Acts 27 CFR 72.11, that's 27 Code of Federal Regulations 72.11, wherein by legal process, you are being maintained as a product. Commercial crimes. Any of the following types of crimes, federal or state. Offenses against the revenue laws. Semicolon. Burglary. Counterfeiting. Forgery. Kidnapping. Larceny. Robbery illegal sale or possession of deadly weapons, prostitution, including soliciting, procuring, pandering, white slaving, keeping house of ill fame, and like offenses, extortion, swindling, and confidence games, and attempting to commit, conspiring to commit, or compounding any of the foregoing crimes. Addiction to narcotic drugs and use of marijuana will be treated as if such were commercial crime. This program is generating revenue by pushing you and prodding you through the legal system. Reform to convert into another and better form. From RE meaning again and form air meaning to form. Male children are the target of this program. From Wiki, reformatory. Reformatory is a term that has had varied meanings within the penal system depending on the jurisdiction and the era. It may refer to a youth detention center 
or an adult correctional facility. Reform. Pedagogy. Education, comma, attendance on boys. This is what the public school system is maintaining. This is what reformatories maintain. The juvenile justice system, adult correction system, all of these things are to indoctrinate you, the male. This is reforming you into something else. When you are charged by the bank or the court, you appear as a deposit. Deposit from Black's Law Dictionary, first edition. A naked bailman of goods to be kept for the depositor without reward and to be returned when he shall require it. From manager to D bills and notes. Bills and notes in their various forms or contracts. It may be negotiable or non negotiable. Bills and notes are commonly defined as commercial paper or negotiable or non-negotiable instruments. And in turn, commercial paper is commonly defined as negotiable instruments, drafts, checks, certificates of deposits, and promissory notes. Commercial paper is governed by the provisions of Article 3 of the Uniform Commercial Code. Again, from Amjur 2D Bills and Notes. Subsection 3. Generally, the law merchant. The law merchant is a law which confers negotiability on commercial paper and governs negotiable instruments. More specifically, it is a pre-statutory or non-statutory law which governs bills of exchange and promissory notes, namely the lex mercatoria or the custom of merchants and is the basis for the modern statutes on the subject. The Uniform Negotiable Instruments Acts and the Uniform Commercial Code, which in large measure but not entirely provide the law governing commercial paper. Subsection 4. Uniform Negotiable Instrument Act. The Uniform Commercial Code supplanted the Uniform Negotiable Instruments Act, which was promulgated in 1896 as the first Uniform Law by the National Conference of Commissioners on Uniform State Laws and was in force in all of the states of the United States until superseded. The act was largely a codification of the rules of the law merchant or the common law rules relating to negotiable instruments which previously were in force and effect by virtue of judicial pronouncement or legislative enactment. Its purpose was to establish certain fixed rules governing negotiable instruments and to bring about a uniform system of laws on the subject and thereby do away with the confusion that had existed in the law of commercial paper. Subsection 5. The Uniform Commercial Code has been enacted, at least in part, by every state in the United States and by the District of Columbia and the Virgin Islands. The Uniform Commercial Code is arranged in 10 articles. Article 1 contains general provisions, Article 10 is the effective date and repealer article, and Articles 2 through 9 are each concerned with a particular type of commercial activity. For example, Uniform Commercial Code Article 4, Bank Deposits and Collections. This stems from the 12 tables. Table 4 is the paternal power of the state, transposing over into Title 4, which is the Social Security Act, the parental ability or the parental action of the state. When you appear in front of the bank as a deposit, you are executing a fiduciary relationship. The definition of fiduciary from Black's Law Dictionary, first edition. The term is derived from the Roman law and means, as a noun, a person holding the character of a trustee or a character analogous to that of a trustee, in respect to the trust and confidence involved in it and the scrupulous good faith and candor which it requires. Thus, a person is a fiduciary who is invested with rights and powers to be exercised for the benefit of another person. As an adjective, it means of the nature of a trust, having the characteristics of a trust, analogous to a trust, 
relating to or founded upon a trust or confidence. This schematic is maintained under 28 U.S.C. Part 2, Department of Justice. Its militia is evidenced under 28 U.S.C. Chapter 33, Federal Bureau of Investigation. The judicial oath under 28 U.S.C. 453 is there to maintain you as human slaves under acts of debenture or a debt secured by your own earning power. This debt created by Congress, otherwise known as the Confederacy or the federal state, the federal government, and according to Article 12 of the Articles of Confederation, offset by you, your blood, sweat, tears, and most often your death. The FBI is Congress's military against you. It pits you against each other. It vilifies you. It criminalizes you. And it's hidden under legal action such as the Crimes Against Children Act, which is a privacy law maintained to protect them and the criminals preying on children.